also realizing that to, to get the private sector to move, to get a conducive business environment, you not only have to stabilize the macroeconomy, you also have to formalize the economy. So the, a, a chaotic economy, an informal economy, is not one where the private sector can really thrive unless you are only looking at digging up gold and, and drilling oil. That is very easy. That can even survive in war. But, but, you know, but if you are looking for systemic or systematic private sector investment, you need a more formalized economic system. And this is why we are back embarked on a digitalization of the Ghanaian economy. There's a digital transformation going on as we speak. We are going to issue national ID cards with facial, iris, and biometric identification for everybody in Ghana, unique, whether you are foreign or, or local or indigenous Ghanaian, you are going to be uniquely identified. We've launched a digital property address system, which means every five by five square meter of Ghana today has a unique digital property address. So you can find everybody uh, and find every business. It opens up the, the, the space for e-commerce and so on. We've digitalized the issue of driver's licenses and vehicle registration. We've digitalized the registration of businesses. Uh, today you can register your business in Ghana online, even from Denmark. Uh, you can register and it will take you within 48 hours to do so. So we are moving um, to um, formalization of the economy. There's going to be uh, launched in either next month or the, the month or in January uh, an interoperability of the domestic payment system between the banks and the mobile companies so that you will have financial inclusion um, across the country.